brain metastases are a big challenge um, across disease types, but particularly in HER2 positive breast cancer. The statistic is up to 50% of patients with HER2 positive metastatic disease uh, will have to deal with brain metastases at some point in their disease course. So this really isn't um, an insignificant or small problem. Um, a lot of our uh, drugs that work great in the body don't cross into the brain extremely well or cross the blood brain barrier. Um, there are some exceptions to this. A lot of times when patients have surgery or they have brain radiation that sometimes the blood brain barrier can get a little holy. And so drugs that we wouldn't typically think um, getting across do. Um, but we still are really kind of woefully uh, without the drugs we need in the brain metastasis space. We've traditionally used drugs like lapatinib or neratinib. Um, these are tyrosine kinase inhibitors. Um, they do work in the brain pretty well. Um, some of them can be a little bit tough to tolerate just from a rash diarrhea standpoint. And again, that's because they both block HER2 and HER1 or EGFR. Most of the time, those drugs are given in combination with a drug like capecitabine. Um, our newest drug to the scene is tocatinib. Um, it's also a HER2 tyrosine kinase inhibitor, but it's specific to HER2, meaning it really doesn't block HER1 or EGFR, and so we see less rash and diarrhea. The regimen there is capecitabine with trastuzumab uh, as well as tocatinib. And so there are a lot of trials now looking uh, to find more drugs in the brain metastasis space. Um, oftentimes, these patients um, are not only treated with systemic therapy, but can also be treated with surgical options um, and radiation as well.